Good evening, Namaskar. I Kriti Vadhira. Welcome all the viewers and learners and teachers to CIT and CRT's live phone in program. This is the webinar time. Yes, and at 4 uh, p.m. every day we bring you webinars where we discuss different ICT tools with our experts which could be helpful to the teachers uh, where teachers can make uh, study se sessions more at, uh, interactive for the students. So, to discuss the same today, the expert who has joined me, I would like to introduce and welcome uh, Ms. P. Deepti. Good evening, ma'am. Namaskar. Namaskar, ma'am. Good evening. Good we evening, welcome yes, you to Kishore Manch. And Thanks. Deepti ji is HOD Computer Science in ML Khanna DAV Public School in Dwarka. And uh, ma'am, uh, the qu discussion she will be taking today, Deepti madam, it is going to be quizzes on world wall. That is what she is going to describe today. And before we start, uh, we begin with the session, I would like to remind my viewers that you can dial on our toll free numbers to ask questions. Our numbers are 18001265 and the other number is 18001129. And you can also send emails. Uh, our email ID is cit.kishormanch at the rate gmail.com. And to watch the live streaming of this program, please log into our official YouTube channel NCERT official and there also in the live chat box, you can comment and we will surely try to take up most of the questions. So, ma'am, uh, over to you, I would like to ask you what it is all about as you were discussing with me earlier that with this, with this ICT tool, uh, quizzes could be ma uh, made and we can more, uh, make uh, academic sessions more interactive and attractive for students. Please guide yes. us through this. Yes, definitely, 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 Kriti ma'am, thank you so much. Namaskar everyone, good evening. Uh, today I'm going to discuss uh, about quizzes on word wall. Yes, we are all going through a pandemic time where the classes have turned from physical to virtual. But nevertheless, the efforts put on by teachers everywhere are limitless. They are boundless. So yes, today I, Mrs. PDP from ML Khanna DAV Public School, New Delhi, Dwarka, HO being the HOD Computer Science, I'm going to introduce you to one fun way of creating quizzes using word wall. So what all can we create using this uh, word wall? Here, teaching resources can be created. We can create quizzes. We can create matchups. We can create word games. We can create assignments as well. So yes, there are a number of resources that can be created all at a time using this particular application. So let's move on and see how do we do it. Firstly, uh, I'll definitely give you a, a complete demonstration, but uh, let me show you uh, how do we start with it? Where do we go on? we need to go to www.wordwall.net www.wordwall.net on the right top corner you will be finding sign up on the right top corner you will be finding sign up just click on sign up okay yes for uh, registering into any uh, platform, you need to sign up, you need to register first, you need to give in your credentials. So is it with WordWall also. Then you have to choose either any pre-existing Google ID that you have or you can create your very own WordWall ID along with a password. Okay, now ensure that your password is quite strong. It should be uh, alphanumeric, having a uh, special character and uh, shouldn't be quite predictable, of course, right? Next, this is how the basic screen of word wall is seen. Okay, again, I'm uh, repeating, this is a presentation. I'll definitely show you the demonstration part, so it will be much more clear. On the right top corner, you have sign up. Now, just have a look at the uh, URL out here, wordwall.net. Okay. Next. Here, you'll have to sign up into a basic account. Either use your Google ID, as I have told you earlier, to sign up 
or you can create your bird wall id right over here give a password confirm the password then choose the location uh, now in the country that you reside that can be chosen over here then yes you have to accept the terms and condition and privacy policy but it is always suggested that it is in fact a very good habit to read the privacy policy terms and conditions before you sign up into any account anywhere yes please do go through the privacy policy terms and conditions then click on sign up okay so either you can sign up using your pre existing google id or you can sign up through any other id yes of course you are having a microsoft id or a yahoo id or redux mail yes you can log in through those ids also over here given those ids out here and then choose the location proper location read the terms and conditions and privacy policy accept it and then click on sign up this page will appear as soon as you sign up then this page will appear now you can see what is the difference between the first screen and now here you have my activities my results create activity and up upgrade why are we getting upgrade because we are using the free version of wordwall.net yes we are using the free version of wordwall.net now i have signed up using my id now you can see my id out here you can see my dp here similarly if you are having a dp that will be reflected or if you are having um, you are signing in through your pre existing uh, id then uh, your initials name initials will get reflected over here now you can go through see example resources to see a number of resources what all you can create what all have already been created what all are available on a public domain that means accessible to everyone these all resources are available here in see example resources then you can create your first activity by clicking here that is create your first activity now or you can create your activity by clicking here create activity so these two will land you up at the same place that is creating an activity these two are not different they land you up in the same place that is creating an activity as soon as you click on create activity you will be finding a number of templates okay you have to choose your template there yes there are a few templates which are for the paid version but no issues you have a number of templates available in the free version also okay i explain you what is this you have used four of your five resources what is this i'll explain it to you now when i click on my activities whatever activities i have created those all will be seen here lined up okay i haven't lined them up i have uh, put only one activity out here so that i get space so under my activity you will be finding a number of activities here lined up okay now you can see a python activity has already been created next click on that activity whichever you want to show or play or want to share with your students in your classes be it online or offline no issues okay and then you can start playing you can switch the templates any time so what are these templates how do they look like how will you be finding them we'll go in detail and you can even take a print or save them okay in pdf format okay how to do that that also will be going in detail so there are a few things that you need to know firstly the wordwall.net that you are using through your basic google account is a free version you can create up to 5 new quizzes okay you can download the quizzes in pdf format you can download the quizzes or assignments or teaching resources that you have created in pdf format you can take print in any compatible template forms available 
any compatible template forms you can take a print you have to first check what are the compatible forms then you can change the template format anytime even while launching the quiz yes that's the most beautiful part out here by launching the quiz in the last moment also you can change the template so let's see how we can do this okay now i'll share my screen and i'll show you wordwall.net now as you can see i'm here i have landed up into www.wordwall.net this is the url that i have landed up into now what is the first step that we have set you have to click on sign up okay because i already have a an email id that is i have already signed up for this word wall so i'll click on login okay now i had signed up using my google account okay so i'll click on sign in with google yes it was already saved so i have landed up into my world wall activity okay so let me go to home first let me show you what are the resources available okay how do we go with the resources now see the example resources click here okay these are a few templates that are shown to you these are all available templates that are shown to you now let us go and see any of these templates say suppose i want to see this is it applicable to um, uh, higher classes or lower classes that is junior classes senior classes yes anybody anywhere can use this and you are going to create beautiful resources okay now let us play this in the full screen mode click on start this is how the template looks like now you can ask your uh, students uh, any questions regarding this either uh, frame a sentence using study frame a sentence using rely so uh, and if you want to shuffle them you can shuffle them in front of your students this is how it gets shuffled and then you can take each one in this manner deal okay say suppose uh, you are not okay with it uh, some student didn't respond maybe you can do it undo and then you can click on deal again okay so this is how you can play the quiz you can have your own questions written over here and you can start playing them okay so how do we create our own questions as i said we can create our own questions we can have our own content over here and we can start playing them in our classes random to check the uh, attention of a student maybe to um, uh, have use it as an exit ticket that is uh, how will they have understood in this particular class or maybe after finishing a chapter you can use this okay so a number of ways that it can be used so how do we write our own questions out here okay so let me click on edit content now you had seen edit content okay click on edit content now you see all the questionnaire over here now for every type of template there is a minimum number of questions and a maximum number of questions that need to be addressed okay you will find that right over here here you have minimum 3 and maximum 100 okay so you have to follow that particular rule that means minimum 3 questions have to be there and maximum up to 100 deals can be there okay so how do we do it let me change the question i'll change around one or two questions and i'll show it to you in place of empty say suppose i want to ask my student about defining a function then i want to ask my student about defining print command okay now because it is computers and not english our p is small okay all the letters are case sensitive so it is small then maybe i'll ask my students about defining uh, what is a data type okay 
or maybe I'll ask them to define. Um, uh, okay, let us move on. It's too much of computer. So um, okay, let us uh, go with this. Maybe uh, what is full form of ideally or define ideally okay so uh, say suppose the number of questions are more you can delete all the uh, other questions in this way and then you can move on okay then click on done as soon as you're done with writing the questions you click on done but before that the activity title i'll give it as python fundamentals okay i'll give it as python fundamentals and then i'll click on done okay now it is saving my activity okay so let us start playing let us see how it is oh the template has changed how did this particular that means the template is same but the theme has changed okay so how did my theme change how did this happen data type now see function what is ideally what is print and i can shuffle them back okay so how did this happen so yes there are a number of themes available in every template in every template there are a number of themes available so what are the themes say suppose this is primary if i click here and i click on start this is a primary theme you can go with this theme this is the playing cards theme that we have already seen this is a midnight theme available. You can click here and then you can go with print, ideally function, okay. You can go with the jungle theme which we have already seen. There is also a space theme available, okay. So you can go with the space theme as well. Now it depends, maybe uh, if, now these are all kids or ultimately that we are handling. So in one session, maybe in one section, you have taken up uh, a particular theme, then they'll definitely um, have a word with each other. They'll say that there was a space theme quiz that has been played. So in order to uh, get out of the monotonous theme, you can change the theme. Maybe you can go into a newsroom or it can even be spooky. Yeah, it can be even spooky. Now you can see that it is a spooky theme. Now you can choose them. Okay. Now let us scroll down a little more and let us see what all other options are available. You can have a counter for a countdown. Say suppose I want to go with a countdown and I want to have the countdown as one minute. I want to give every student one minute. Okay, within one minute they have to answer the question. Number of deal places, maybe I want every student, maybe I have 100 questions and or maybe a huge number of questions, um, 100 is maximum, okay, so maybe I want every student to answer at least two deals, okay, so I'll keep it as two, shuffle item order, okay, so I want it to be random, I want the item orders to be shuffled, if you want to shuffle, you can shuffle them or you can keep them in the order that you have prepared, apply to this activity so i'm going to apply to this activity now let me see what is going to happen spooky themes right now let's go with a deal oh so i had made the number of deals as two i had changed the number of deals as two so now you can see there are two deals coming up okay so this is how you can go with the template. Now say suppose, okay, I have used one particular uh, template in one of the classes. Fine, I want to use another template in the classes. I'm not okay with the other themes. Maybe I'm not liking the themes or maybe I want to um, get out of this regular template. I have used this template in all of the sections. Maybe I want to use some other template. The question pattern can remain the same. The questions can remain the same. As I mentioned uh, earlier, by launching the quiz, you can change the look of your quiz totally. Okay, so how do we do it? Now, in the right side, you have interactives. It shows you in what all ways your particular template can be converted. Okay, now you can see my countdown is also over while I was speaking. If you had observed it, my countdown was also over. Okay. Now click on show all. Okay. So
so the ones which are highlighted here these are the templates in which it is compatible to switch over okay now these are the templates in which this particular questionnaire this particular quiz or assignment can be changed into the rest in which it cannot be changed into are by default not highlighted okay these are the printables we'll go with the printables later on first let us see the switching of template let's say suppose i want to go with open the box okay now i'm taking my class my class has started before just sharing the screen i just clicked on open the box or maybe after sharing my screen i clicked on open the box okay now just play this and you'll be able to find the change the same questionnaire now it has changed into a box format maybe i'll click over here okay i'll ask row number 4 okay and i'll click on 4 and a question appears okay maybe then i have row number 3 then i'll ask 3 i'll say this is your question okay so we can have questions every row number wise okay so now as you can see over here also these two boxes have left open whereas the rest of the boxes they are left closed okay now you have that option also now for this even for this open the box you have variety of themes you have wooden desk desk theme okay you can see this this is wooden desk theme and you have various other themes playing card primary now see the options always go through the options these are uh, they have a number of options given over here okay now boxes leave open automatically close so i wanted the boxes to be left open so that i'll get to know which are the roll numbers that i have called up in my class which are the questions that have already been answered okay so if you want such a thing then you can leave the boxes open or if you uh, are willing uh, that all students need to get any random question maybe it can be repetitive it's up to you it's perfectly your teacher's choice you can go on clicking automatically close okay now you have columns how many columns do you want how many rows do you want do you want end of game at the end of the game do you want answers to be given okay uh, shown to the students okay it's all up to you now you can choose any of these okay and then you can click on apply to this activity say suppose i want three columns three rows and then i give on apply to this activity and let us see what happens see three columns okay and three rows because i don't have enough number of questions i deleted the rest so it is showing me only two rows but you can see the three column arrangement automatically happening out here okay so you can choose any one you can ask the students to answer them now okay and move on similarly you have word search okay in this students will can be asked to search a word and they can start playing so this this is something which we all always wanted to do and it is one of the most toughest tasks to be given on in an assignment let me show you i'm saying assignment right okay so let me show you how do we give it up in an assignment okay now here what you have printables okay now you can see in printables it is written pdf okay so these are all the uh, the any template that you have chosen can be printed or downloaded in a pdf format okay so now say suppose word search okay when i click on word search it is going to convert these questions like number 1 function number 2 print number 3 data type number 4 ideally okay and it is going to change it into a word that is word search and it is a printable format if you have an access to a printer you can click on print it directly or you can definitely click on download and click download okay now see you can see over here my uh, python fundamentals the activity the activity name it has downloaded in a pdf format okay 
you also you have this name option given over here so a student has been given some space to write down the name okay so this is also one of the added benefits now you can it doesn't mean that if you have launched this game in a word search format then you will be having this word search format only you can even download it in any other format okay for example we can download it in writing frame okay we can download it in writing frame now you have as you can see you have here space is given for each and every question now your students will be writing down the answer right over here in the assignment itself okay so this is also a very good feature then you have a drawing frame after writing frame if you want your students say suppose uh, you have given questions uh, with respect to image okay maybe uh, you want uh, your students to identify whether it is a keyboard monitor or maybe body parts or uh, uh you have given the chemical compounds or the organic structure uh and then you ask your students to identify whether it is uh benzene or something else okay so be it chemistry physics uh mathematics whatever it is yes you can go through uh, any of these uh, methods now i'm saying you chemistry physics mathematics okay now here uh, these teachers they generally find it really difficult in typing the chemical formulas or typing the math mathematical formulas okay so here say suppose i go and click on edit content okay edit as random cards okay now while typing say suppose i want to add okay while typing now you have this bold superscript subscript these symbols and you have the equation uh, options right over here so yes it is easy for chemistry physics maths all types of subject teachers to uh, uh, like highlight your work or to write down the chemical formulas or mathematical formulas okay so say suppose i'll give you an example i want to type carbon dioxide okay so c o and 2 okay i want this 2 to be subscript okay select it and then click here now you have it carbon dioxide okay say so suppose i add another item uh, maybe i want to write a square so a uh, sorry small a then square now i select this 2 i make it superscript okay so now mathematical formulas are also easy to be written now when you click on equations you'll be finding you'll be getting the option option to click any type of equation so you can definitely go with this as well so maths physics chemistry all these teachers science related teachers can also use this particular um, software that is uh, application so it becomes easy for you all okay now let us uh, sh let me show you some other interesting uh, features for example one of the activities that has been created um, now as soon as i click on my activities now you can see here the number of activities that are there uh, in one of the presentations that i had shown in one of the slides there it was written uh, four out of five um, uh, activities have been used okay that means uh, you have five free uh, activities to get designed out of which you have designed four activities already okay so this was one of the uh, uh, game that i had designed for my class uh, this is spin wheel okay now i had seen uh, a number of teachers especially in my school uh, there is a lot of digital activity happening um, in 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 all of the classes Uh, like we collaborate nationally internationally so over there a uh, number of teachers they have created a number of beautiful presentations with the uh, in a ppt they have created pin wheel with the animations to the arrows given okay so now this has reduced the workload drastically so suppose this is a pin wheel you click on spin it you can call out any random row number or maybe you can ask your students what is your favorite color okay maybe you can have a list of favorite colors and then as per their favorite color you can ask them to choose any one okay this particular question goes to a uh, but a particular child as soon as the child has answered or maybe you have uh, given the chance to some other child as soon as this question has been answered all together you can click on eliminate so this pin gets erased from the original 
pin that means here in the quiz original doesn't mean that the activity that you have created it doesn't get deleted from the activity that has been created okay it del gets deleted during the game okay now this question also i have uh, written it on my own define them i wanted my students to define all of these okay so then you can go to a uh, second question and then again as soon as that particular question has been answered you can click on eliminate okay so that question also gets eliminated so in this way you can play the games now we have created we have changed the templates we have even known or seen how to take the printouts how to make them convert them into assignments but if we want our students to play along with us or maybe if you want your students to play uh, outside your regular that is virtual classroom at uh, their own ease okay then you have this share button okay so how do you share it with them okay now there are two options when you click on share there are two options number one you can make it a public resource that means it is available to all the other teachers other teachers doesn't mean only in your organization but as you clicked on see example resources there you found some questions similarly this question uh, this question it this particular article this particular questionnaire will also teaching resource will also be available to all the other teachers okay whosoever is using this particular platform okay then you can click on make public okay now it will ask you a few questions if you want to change the resource title you can change it if you want to add age band you can add the age group to whom it is suitable okay add subject which subject it is related to because a few people will be searching with respect to subject a few people will be um, uh, like searching with respect to age criteria and then add topic like which particular topic maybe somebody who types it as python okay or maybe somebody types it as uh, functions in python okay so which particular topic is it related to okay you can give that particular topic if it is bio okay now in bio also you have a lot many uh, sub topics so say suppose you are uh, using this with respect to uh, endocrine system okay so you can give this particular topic name out here like this is related to endocrine system okay and then you can click on okay i'm clicking on cancel over here and then publish okay when you click on publish you get this particular link now you can copy this link you can share it with anyone everyone okay you can either post it on facebook twitter or if you are having google classroom okay then you can post it into google classroom or you can mail it to anyone or you can even embed it okay if you are having your own website then you can embed it there or maybe if you are having your own blog okay in the blog also you can embed this particular questionnaire so that becomes quite easy now this entire game is this resource is getting published over there so your students like in our school we have our website uh, on which we uh, upload all these resources so these resources can be put over there you can have your own blogs yes many teachers are maintaining blogs then you can have put it up over there as well okay say suppose no i don't want to put it publish it i want to share it only with my students okay limited okay then click on my students that is learn more about assignments okay click over here okay or you can directly click on share okay you have this more option here okay you have this rename option okay you can directly click on this share and then you can take the content copy the link and then you can post it okay click on more assignments so this will not become public this will be shared only and only with your students okay so they can play along with you okay now i am saying play along with you so is a pinwheel something like uh, will it involve students maybe everybody is spinning the wheel everybody is getting different uh, option out there okay so no uh, it should be a proper quiz that needs to be played okay so let us go and see some example resources i'll search for a quiz okay now 
now you can see these are variety of quizzes available okay there are a number of uh, quizzes available now say suppose i want to go with this quiz when i go particularly and click on a quiz then what are the benefits that i get okay now when you scroll down you'll get to know the benefits okay now you have a leaderboard option okay ma the but, uh, but deepthi ma'am i would like to intervene here and i would like yes. to ask because as you've said you are explaining each and every minute detail in very informative uh, ways uh, ma'am uh, you told us that uh, the teachers can make assignments uh, with this tool and yes. uh, if you talk about assignments particularly so mm -hmm. can the assignment questions be changed after downloading the pdf files what you told us definitely definitely because these days we have a number of uh, online converters so you can convert the pdf file into a word document and you can change the question say suppose you have a particular framework already prepared like a pin wheel now it is very difficult to create a pin wheel uh, using powerpoint as i said or maybe in a word document drawing all those lines joining them okay so create a pin wheel with all those questionnaires then convert that into a word document and then you can change the questions in between and it becomes editable format and you can share it with your students okay okay and ma'am the examples which you are showing us it uh, we can only see english written here so is, is this tool used for uh, useful for hindi teachers as well definitely not just hindi but it is useful for any other language be it arabic be it german punjabi bengali okay any other language you just need to have one input like you can see over here i have this is google input tool okay, okay. just click on this google input tool now i have added up only two tools that is english and hindi say suppose i can show you that right away i want to click on edit content okay right. i don't want this as has read okay maybe i want it in hindi then i click here i choose hindi and i start writing say suppose pair okay i want pair so it is going to show me pair and then yes it is there in hindi so in this google input tool you have all the other languages available you can change it into any language that you want right ma'am ma'am because our viewers are from all parts of the country from every state yes. so it is yes. very important to tell them that in regional languages also this tool can be used every other language as right, a, right. Uh, like uh, it is not uh, limited only to one uh, english language it can be uh, changed into arabic it can be changed into any other language right ma'am ma'am you may proceed now thank you thank you so much so as i have shown this particular quiz and that you have a leaderboard okay say suppose i click on quiz and then you have a leaderboard out here okay i'm moving on with another quiz now which i uh, say you can you have the option to uh, enable this leaderboard as soon as you enable this leaderboard you will be able to see who all have uh, attempted your uh, uh, quiz then uh, who scored how much and you can you will be even able to find the statistics in graphical format under my results okay so this will be available under my results say suppose this was one of the quiz first conditional quiz that i had played with one of my student as a demo now you can see how many correct answers are there how many incorrect answers are there okay and you can even see like the results of the students once it is attempted by a student then you'll be able to see the leaderboard okay statistic average attempts average marks of the students in the class so you get an entire idea about how well they have understood those questions or those concepts okay so this leaderboard feature is really good and you can find them in my results i have shown you okay say so suppose this is a demo that has been done now here you can see the graphical representation score distribution correct or incorrect by question so every question how many people have given the correct answer how many incorrect and how many have not attempted it they have left that question okay so this uh, leaderboard is clearly available 
so top score fastest how many seconds or how many minutes they have taken to attempt this okay so this can be seen over here next there is another beautiful feature let me show you about um body parts okay now just have a look at this this is a beautiful format now uh, like as i said about math science physics chemistry okay these teachers hindi teachers or maybe sanskrit teachers for all of them it has been clarified now how do our social science teachers or science teachers use it in a very different manner or maybe in computers okay you can ask them to label each part okay when you click like this now this is head okay so now you need to take this drag it over here drop it here now head is clinging on to this particular portion now foot i want this to be clicked over here so this is foot then goes toes this goes here okay now students they'll be easily able to match up the same as the following which they do on pen and paper okay the same thing now they'll be able to do it over a picture with all these now can you change the picture can you change the questions again to that question i go it in a way saying yes of course click on edit content now instead of this picture say suppose i want some other picture okay now you can click on remove okay okay add image click on add image search for images say suppose i want to search for intestine okay what is the size of the image that you want whether you want large small medium or all types of images that also can be seen here okay and then you can uh, say suppose this is a simple one so i'm choosing this okay and then you can ask the parts that you want to be labeled out here those parts can be written here and your child will be able to answer them they'll be, he'll, he or she will be able to label them similarly say suppose instead of this i want to go with a political map okay or a geographical map okay you can choose any map out here maybe uh, india political map okay now you can choose a political map okay and then you can start writing the questions maybe uh, as per uh, your choice okay and your students will be pointing them out where it is which part it is okay they'll be dragging and putting it out there so this is how it goes so these are a few features that are that are really really good okay let me go back and show you when we have this in what formats can be print them or download them right so you can download it as a labeled diagram okay so this is a labeled diagram now you can ask them to join it in this way okay and then you can ask them to write down all the body parts or maybe you write the body parts here and give it to them frame it over here and give it to them and they'll be joining out here okay or if you want it as an anagram you can go with an anagram okay jumbled words and then they'll be finding out what it is okay again a drawing frame you have or a random wheel you have you can ask them to color each part okay and then write something about it okay so there are various ways now it depends upon your uh, imagination your creativity levels on how you want to go with it okay now there is one interesting activity which students like a lot that is whack a mole okay now you can uh, uh, ask your students maybe to find out like the general true or false game that we play okay the general true or false question that we gen we have change the pattern into a whack a mole okay you have some correct answer you have some incorrect options also the child has to uh, choose the correct options okay uh if he or she is choosing the wrong answers then you have equal uh, uh type of emojis popping up over here okay so let me show you over here you have to hit the balls that are correct okay now e a whack a mole okay speak e a wherever it is there is e a word uh, e a uh, pronunciation sound that you have to click it so this is right okay this is how the student will start playing this or maybe uh the next one you have lot many options 
Okay, say suppose I click on this, which is wrong. Okay, so this is how the emoji pops up. Okay, only when you hit number of uh, correct answers, then you'll be moving on to the next level. As you can see, the number of stars and there is a counter over here, countdown. Okay, so as per that, you have to click. Deepthi okay. ji, we are heading towards the end of this program and a okay. few minutes of, uh, are left and I would like to take up a question here. Let Several see, users, uh, viewers are watching you and they want to ask you something. There is a very interesting question which I would like to put up here. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a question which says, how can we upload these quizzes online? Okay, see yes. uh, as I have already said, uh, click on share, on share button you have that uh, copy paste option. Right. Okay, copy that link and put it online. You can put it on your presentation, you can keep it on your blog, you can put it on your website. So you can put it anywhere. Even in an offline class, you can share that particular link with your uh, uh, students. And can we really involve students also in this? See, there is always a better option to involve students. Okay. Uh, like uh, instead of you creating the questionnaire, because this is such an easy platform, right. you can definitely ask your students to create a questionnaire and their questions will be played in by the other students in a particular class. Because right when now. a student prepares a question, then he or she is going thoroughly with the content. Only I, then I you understand. can prepare a question. So yes, this is the best way to involve a student right 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 yes ma'am so I would like you to conclude because we are left left with five minutes so if okay. you want to conclude the things yes, yes. Uh, so uh, like as I have already said that this is a simple free resource and it is easily available there are a lot many uh, uh, templates available themes available now please do not uh, think that uh, my students are in class 11 12 or maybe they are graduate students they will not be enjoying this no ultimately each and every one of them is a student they are all children they will definitely love something different happening and uh, yes uh, you can take care of the uh, questions patterns you can involve them by asking them to uh, create the questions for you and uh, you can definitely go with that you can print them you can give us an assignment you can ask them to color so yes this is a very easy and uh, creative platform so already some base has been given to you so you can definitely put on construct it in a beautiful day right but th there's one thing which comes to my mind as you said we are living in this pandemic era where students are getting classes online on video calls on yes. zoom calls etc et but uh, can we use this tool as offline class activity as well Yes, of course. You can either give it as an assignment to be downloaded, make it, change it into a coloring activity. They'll have to color every question uh, and they'll be writing every answer in a way, different color. Or maybe you can give it as an activity wherein they can uh, attempt it at their ease. Share the link with them, then they'll be attempting at, at their ease, not in a continuous stretch, like maybe three hours, four hours. Uh, within the class duration itself, you are asking them to play the game, give the answers. So you can give them that you can attempt it at the ease and you have your my results tab out here. So you can definitely see the results. You can see who all have attempted along with their names, their score, the time that they have taken to attempt. So yes, this can be used as an offline class uh, activity also. Also, right, right ma'am. So that's very beneficial for teachers, I guess, for all the educators who are watching us. That with, yes. with the help of this tool, many uh, assignments could, could be more attractive. We can make it more attractive, I guess. Yes, and there is inbuilt sound. You don't have to worry about, uh, I'll have to put up a sound over here or right. I have to drag and drop so many things. You just have to edit, change the questions and then your work is done. This is hardly 5 to 10 minutes work if you already have a questionnaire ready with you. And if you want your students to create some beautiful questionnaires for you, they'll also definitely love, they'll choose beautiful themes. In fact, we as teachers will sometimes uh, not be choosing a spooky theme, but a student will definitely be choosing a spooky theme. So yes, uh, for them it is a fun factor. There's one of our viewer who wants to ask you that, ma'am, can we use this tool on our mobile phones as well as on our desktops? everywhere everywhere it okay. is quite friendly it can be used on android mac 
uh, windows okay. any type of os and any type of gadget yes it is very friendly so that's very useful that it could be used yes. anywhere yes it can be used anywhere because many of the applications you either get a mobile app or you get only a desktop right, version right. so and be used anywhere right ma'am Ma'am, I really thank you for joining us today because it, uh, uh, we are uh, finished with the time for today's webinar and this I session was so useful, so informative for our viewers. We uh, got so many uh, questions in uh, relevance to your topic. Thank you for this informative session joining us for today's uh, webinar on Kishore Manch. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Indeed, it was a pleasure having uh, uh, given this platform. Thank you, NCRT. Thank you, CIET. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kriti, especially to you. Yeah, thank you, Deepti ji. Uh, and the viewers, please don't go away anywhere because the next session which is coming for you is going to be Sahyog session, the special phonic program session. So stay tuned. Don't, don't go away anywhere. We'll be back in a while. Thank you. Namaskar.